Thank you. Mr. Wilkins, if you'll go ahead and approach the lectern, please. Thank you. Mr. Garnett, with respect to sentencing. Ma'am, go ahead. Okay. You embrace your narcissistic fantasy to fulfill the lie you created, and it was more important than my right to live and Aurora's right to live. This is a picture of her. I'm going to object at this point. I fervently hope that you use the rest of your time on this earth with meditation and prayer to help you come to terms with what you have done. It is your only chance for healing the hurt that you have caused. And our objection at this point, this is inappropriate. Ms. Lane planned this attack and left Ms. Wilkins to bleed out and die. Ms. Lane is to be sentenced to a sentence the court finds, having considered the mitigating circumstances and the aggravating circumstances that totals 100 years in the Department of Corrections to be followed by the mandatory periods of parole. I've never seen a case as vicious, as cruel, as deliberate, uh, and as awful as this case. Um, you know, what do I take away from that? People are capable of doing horrible things. And uh, when that happens, society has to respond appropriately, and justice needs to be done. And fortunately, uh, I believe justice was done in this case, and we're pleased with the sentencing today. Obviously, Dinell isn't, in any outward sense, taking any responsibility, or, and there's no accountability there except for the judicial process. So in that sense, that it makes me feel heard um, and acknowledged, in that sense, it feels like justice was served.